Welcome to another explanational video. Today we're gonna talk about the session volume and the naked point controls for the day, for the week, for the month, for the session. And I'm gonna explain to you why do they work and how you can use them in your trading so you can be having even a better edge, okay? So about the daily volume, the volume is a very good way of seeing pivotal levels from each trading session because in crypto, the whole day is being defined by 24 hours. If we talk about, let's say, ES as an index, it's being traded just for the New York session. This is the time where things happen. In crypto, it's for 24 hours. And the levels we're gonna look for for the day are the volume are low, volume are high, and the point of control. Each of these levels are used as support and resistances and are very important for day traders, okay? I always check them before I start trading throughout the day. And the focus, the main focus, is on the naked point of controls from a previous day, which is not tapped yet. And for a trade, you really want to see another confluence as well. Now, about the naked point of controls, why does this work? That's the main question, which a lot of people do not understand, and I'm gonna explain to you very, very um, briefly, so you can get the idea. Naked point of controls are an exact level where there is the most transacted volume. So let's say you're in a range in the, in the whole day and price breaks away from whatever is the most transacted volume. If somebody got it wrong, let's say 95% of traders who got in the wrong direction would love to get out at break even when price revisit this level. It's been calculated by math, so it's 100% accurate. Okay, this is why the first touch of an exit point of control is a such strong support or resistance and we have a lot of people getting out, out on break even and you know even myself i'll be bidding on a naked point of control so it has double double strength i will trade them with other confluence on that level such as like a golden pocket or a horizontal level or weekly or monthly and i will also like the naked point, point of control to be taken from a daily or a weekly view now let me just show you quickly so that's via exit charts on a weekly time frame. So that's how it looks. You have the red the point of control. So let's say over here, you see we have this next point of control when price actually broke down and came back to back test that region. All the people that were like um, longing in that area just went out on break even and that's why we continue going down. And same thing here. You see here we create this weekly point of control weekly naked point of control here is created then the next week we actually did back test it that's on the weekly time frame on the daily time frame it looks a little bit different that's on the daily time frame as you can see that's again via exo charts you can also get the calculations let's say for the day via trading view they have the session volume profile indicator in my opinion the calculations over there are not the best so i do not recommend it still you can use them the quote unquote accurate but if you want to get the best data you want to be using exo charts uh and yeah that's how it looks that's how it looks as a daily volume profile okay if we move into let's say over here uh let me just check something mm. okay never mind coming back coming back into the presentation i want to talk about the session volumes i want to talk about that so the naked session point of controls, what is the difference between them and the daily volume sessions and how do they work? Because I got this question a lot. Okay, so moving back into exit charts, I'm gonna move into the session volume. Session, um, it's not exactly volume because actually the session uh, template is based on time prof, time price opportunities or the TPO profile. Uh, and it's being based, you split the whole day in three different sessions. So just a quick example here, we have Asia, have London, have New York. So let's say Asia is from 1 a.m. until 7 a.m. Then comes the London from 7 a.m. until 12. And from 12 until pretty much the market close of New York until 9, you do have the New York. Then you have like this closed session when it's, where it's from 9 and until uh, 1. And then it comes Asia. Uh, so the session, naked point of controls, are very different than the daily ones okay so when we were beginning this range just a quick example you can see here in new york we create this naked session point of control and when we tap it you can see it gives like a whole reversal um same thing with a few other 
um, occurrences to put it that way. So let's say here we create this next session. First time we tap it, we bounce. Same thing over here. We leave this Asian X point of control. New York taps it, has a nice bounce to the upside. And you know, this happens quite often. They can give very nice um, trades to put it that way. And their exact level, you can see there's like not uh, not deviations or anything like that from the exact level. You see here in New York leaves this next session point of control. Then here it gets tapped. And of course, as I tell you, you need to be having other confluence as well. So let's say here we take out this double bottom so-called, these pattern traders that traded. So yeah, uh, you can see when you have another confluence, it's a very good level. Even here, you see here London leaves this next session point of control. And we had this huge move down, huge liquidations during New York session. And when it taps it, it gives like a whole reversal. Where to? Well, you see New York left this next session point of control and this is where actually price reverse back down. Where? To the London one. So they're very, very nice levels. I believe you should like add them into a trading, experiment with them a little bit and you know get to understand them because not a lot of people look at them. This is what professionals use. Professionals really use the TPO profiles in terms of a session, in terms of a day, in terms of like a week. So, you know, retail traders do not look at this information. So if you want to step up the ladder and climb up, you need to be looking into different things. So yeah, that's my advice to you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I believe this is all the information you need about them. Feel free to join the Discord. The link is in the description if you want to join. So yeah, I wish you nice, profitable day and keep the profits running.